Hey guys, it's the Slow Cloth here, and today I'm going to be going over the best mythics in Monster Legends. And I'm just going to be picking one that is the best. So, currently there are no OP rank or SS rank mythics. I'm on the Monster Legends competitive wiki, where they list all of the best mythics. So, if you come on here, it shows all of these mythics as S plus tier. And it could be confusing for new players, because... If you see all of these, how do you know which one is the best one? So I'm just going to be looking at them and basically deciding which one I think is the best one. I could not be right, but I'm always right, right? Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is Armor Claw. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has Taunt, and yeah, that's basically all I know. So Average Special, Low Speed, those are his Cons few high damage skills. Well, yeah, he's a tank. Not gonna be do damage. High stamina cost, easily denied. Yeah, that is very true. He is very easily denied. Has light move as fire monster. I don't really think that's much of a pro because I don't really even look at move types, to be completely honest with you. A good amount of self buffs. He has a mega taunt self buff, I'm pretty sure. Nice trait. Yeah, self cooldown activated thing uh has a zero stamina cost zero cooldown move that is good so it's hard for him to get denied with cooldowns activated or by removing his stamina so yeah that's armor claw it's taunt hardened self-stun immunity so yeah not the greatest trade i guess but taunt and hardened are good but rank three is kind of underwhelming so let's look at the next one i guess that one is armor claw is good but he's not the best obviously Okay, so the next one I'm going to be looking at is, and also I don't understand why they put Moon Haze all the way down here when he's very good, by the way. Okay, I'm going to be looking at um, Daedalus or Arumel. Well, Arumel is locked behind a paywall, so I'm not going to look at him. I'll look at Daedalus. Uh, this guy has Harden, Self Regen, Megaton. Okay, Harden, Self Regen, and Megaton. Those are good. Very good, I guess. Megaton is really good, but that is at rank 3, right? Yeah, so it's hard to get. Self-regen, eh, it's okay. Hardened is really good, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, can apply Megaton damage protection. Okay, that's good. Great relic slots. Yeah, or wait, what are his relic slots? I forgot to look at that. Armor and mask. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, NER and PEP, okay. And then great special AoE damage, Mega Stun. Yeah, but good specials aren't really everything because you aren't going to be getting the special every single game. Most of the time you're not even going to get it. So horrible life for a Mythic Attacker, that is kind of sad. Yeah, he has less life than Armor Claw. Yikes. Yeah, and he's a tank, so... Good speed for a tank. Okay, well that's good. Uh, many self support moves. Yeah, that's good. Good trait. Yeah, I already looked at that. Uh, yeah, so that's this guy. I guess he's good. Daedalus. He seems good, but if he doesn't have good life and he's a tank, I don't... I don't know if that's really okay. So, next we're gonna look at Lonrod. Oh, this is the guy from the maze. A little while ago i had a video on how to get him out of the maze so stun immunity team sudden death immunity self cast self 50 percent shield that is weird i guess the shield could be good for some things but it's not the best essence and banner those are very good essence and banner are very good relic slots i bet that's what it's gonna say down here yeah amazing relic slots so sun protection is insane oh that's a move don't really know what it does it probably it makes him not able to get hit with anything but light moves or something, and then an extra turn if it's really insane. So good support skills, NER and PER. Resurrection skills, nice trait, good stats, amazing relic selects. What's wrong with him? Oh, he has a resurrection move, but it only resurrects with 1% life. That is very weird. Wow, okay. Moderate to high cooldowns and stamina cost, resurrection block hinders it as it has no trait disable. So yeah, if somebody has resurrection block, like the new mythic, kind of makes him bad. But yeah, besides that, he seems pretty good. Next, I'll look at Miserus. 
Miserus. I'm pretty sure he was in a maze. Not a maze. He was in a race. Yes, a race. Okay, possession immunity abomination replaces possession immunity. That's weird. It like upgrades, but all that does is make him immune to bleeding. That's not even that good. And anticipation is really good, but that's rank 3. Amulet and trap are okay. They're good. Okay, good trait in life. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, his trait is good. It's not the best though. Great speed, which is good. I guess he's a support though, as it says right here. Great support moves. Many moves that heal. Yeah, he heals and resurrects, which is really good. Double damage and damage boost. Amazing special. Only three moves do damage. Yikes. So you can't really do damage with him, but he is a support, so... I don't know. No NER. Yeah, it's kind of expected. Four slot syndrome. Too many good moves to choose from. Okay. Yeah, that's like Ragnarok. He's too many good moves. Which, I guess, that... I don't know. Is that a bad thing? Doesn't have trade disable. Anticipation is only a status caster. High cooldowns on most moves. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we'll look at Ondana. Miserus seems okay, but not like, I don't know. I mean, I, he apparently is really good moves, so I guess that's good. Oh, Ondana, this guy was in a maze too. So, freeze immunity, team super attuned, team doubled stamina pool. That, that seems good amulet and stuff i've never really heard of team double stamina pool he might be the only monster with it which is kind of cool so ally ner plus control immunity that's really good pr and trait disable that is very good too um many stamina removals and recovering moves okay so you can basically like not run out of stamina with him i'm confused i think he's a support yeah he's a support okay good special nice trait good speed so as a support Speed doesn't really matter. You're going to have team speed runes on a support. And yeah, you're going to put speed runes on your deny, obviously. Okay, cons. Terrible life. Most moves are water type. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, can be denied. Yeah, sure. Okay. Most monsters can be denied. That's kind of a weird thing to put there. Okay, so now I'm going to look at Arumel because I didn't really look at him because he's locked behind a paywall, but I think you can still get him in the PvP chest. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not that sure. Okay, Day's Immunity, Blind Immunity, Status Caster, Self Evasion. So this is an attacker, and let's see. Yeah, it says right there he's an attacker. Um, pros, pretty decent buffing move in Holy Circuit. I'm assuming that's like the Cyber Rails move where it gives him like, self protection like where it bounces off your moves i can't remember that is i think it's for like mirror move or something and then like damage boost or something like that so great stats good status caster can apply evil legion Sater to so that is weird so he can kill evil legions guys really easily photophobic shield Ooh, that is photophobic shield is good it means you can only get hit with light moves that's really good has a fire skill despite being a light Good damage output, ridiculous stamina cost, that is bad. And terrible trait aside from his status caster. What was your trait? Days of immunity, blind immunity. Yeah, those are bad. But the self evasion is good if you get him to rank 3. And if you're paying money already, you might as well get him that far. So, out of these monsters, the one that I think is the best is Longrad, duh, or however you say it. Don't really know how to pronounce it, but this guy. He seems really good. Like, with a good trait and all of these like look at his pros compared to his cons they're great so yeah if you get this guy yeah use him he's really good so yeah that's basically all i have for this video if you guys like don't forget to like share and subscribe and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and bye